there are a multiplicity of passages in the Bible that address the topic of homosexuality. And while it is true Jesus did not use the word homosexuality, he certainly dealt on multiple occasions with what his design for the relationship of marriage and what uh, human sexuality should be, the partners that participate in it, what that is to look like. So what are some of the other passages that you could go to immediately and say this practice of homosexuality is definitely outside God's design? Well, Dave, there are many of them. I already quoted Leviticus chapters 18 and 20, where it tells us that if a man lies with a man as he would lie with a woman, then he's committing an abomination. We know that that is very, very clear there. Romans chapter 1, as a matter of fact, the entire chapter deals with it. And as you read your way down through Romans chapter 1, it talks about the whole concept of a person being without natural affection. That would be in verse 31. And this, of course, is a reference to homosexuality. You go over to 1 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 10, and there it talks about whoremongers and then that defile themselves with mankind. That would be a reference also to homosexuality. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 9 through 11 deals with it. And so there are many passages of Scripture in the Word of God where we can turn to to find out the truth as to what homosexuality is that teaches that it's a sin. And if we love the homosexual, and we do here at the American Pastors Network and Stand in the Gap, then we will do what we can to try to reach the homosexual for Christ.